the apex predators of our era evoke a captivating blend of fear and fascination within us. Whether it's the thunderous roar of a lion, the ethereal sight of an orca gracefully traversing the ocean depths, or the swift darting of a king cobra's tongue, these creatures stand out as remarkable representatives of the animal kingdom. But millions of years ago, a very different set of predators ruled the world. Deinosuchus, whose name translates to terrible crocodile in Greek, is a fascinating creature from the late Cretaceous period. This prehistoric crocodile, which lived approximately 80 to 70 million years ago, was an apex predator, reaching lengths of up to 40 feet and weighing more than an elephant. The Dano, in the name Deinosuchus, connotes something fearsome or terrible. This description is apt considering that Deinosuchus was one of the largest prehistoric crocodiles that ever lived. It was thought to be the largest crocodile until the discovery of Sarcosuchus, which was 50 feet long and weighed 15 tons. Deinosuchus had a robust body and a powerful jaw, which allowed it to take down large prey. Its teeth were massive and curved, perfectly designed for crushing bones and tearing through flesh. The preserved fossils of two contemporaneous North American tyrannosaurs bear clear evidence of Deinosuchus bite marks. This suggests that Deinosuchus may have occasionally preyed on dinosaurs. It is no wonder that size, power, and the mystery surrounding the existence of the Deinosuchus continue to captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike. In the distant past, when the skies were ruled by creatures of colossal proportions, one towering titan reigned supreme, the Quetzalcoatlus. With a wingspan rivaling that of a small airplane, this magnificent pterosaur cut through the prehistoric skies with unparalleled grace and power. Named after the Mesoamerican feathered serpent god, Quetzalcoatl, this awe-inspiring creature is one of the largest flying animals to have ever existed. With a wingspan stretching up to an astonishing 35 feet, it dwarfed even the largest modern-day birds, casting an imposing shadow over the landscapes below. With its long, slender wings and graceful neck, the Quetzalcoatlus was a sight to behold, a true marvel of evolution's ingenuity. With its keen eyesight and powerful beak, it hunted for fish and small prey, carving out its place in the ancient ecosystems of the late Cretaceous period. Journey back with us to the Mesozoic era, a time when the Pliocene lizard, or Pliosaur as we know it, ruled the seas. Stretching up to 40 feet in length and weighing a staggering 25 to 30 tons, this animal would have been a truly fearsome sight. The Pliosaur was a marvel of evolution, its body uniquely adapted for life in the water. Its large head sat atop a short neck, a stark contrast to its long-necked Plesiosaur cousins. Despite its size, the Pliosaur was a swift swimmer, its muscular flippers propelling it through the ancient seas. Armed with large razor-sharp teeth, the Pliosaur was a formidable hunter. It feasted on fish, squids, and other marine reptiles, its powerful jaws capable of crushing bone and tearing flesh. Fossils of these magnificent creatures have been discovered in a number of locations such as Mexico, Norway and most recently in Dorset on Britain's Jurassic Coast in 2023. These formidable animals represent just a fraction of the captivating and dangerous predators that have been lost to time. Join us as we delve into the hunt for more enthralling examples of the most formidable creatures to have ever roamed the Earth.